All right, in this tutorial, I just want to show you what toolbars I typically have turned on. Um, and I'm going to show you how to choose the toolbars that you want specifically. Um, now, realize you may be doing some task that needs special toolbars, but in this case, this is just general uh, 3D modeling tools. All right, so first I'm going to show you a couple of ways to see which toolbars you have turned on. Now, um, one of the main ways is to go to View, Toolbars, and then you'll see this dialog box appear um, where you can choose the ones that you want. That's not the preferred way that I use. Um, I'll, I'll show you one other way. If you notice, uh, there's you can move toolbars around and you can have a little bit of space between them. Any of these open gray areas here that's not a tool but is, is just empty space, you can right click and it'll come up with a list of all your toolbars. Ones that I have turned on, you can see I have Getting Started, which is your main toolbar at the top. I have the Large Tool Set, which is this really big toolbar over on the left hand side. And then I have a special toolbar uh, round corner. Um, that's this one right here. And that was downloaded um, as an extension and added to SketchUp. It's free, but you have to know how to get to it. Um, I can help you with that if you need. And then I also have the Views toolbar. That's this one here. And it's really helpful when you have a 3D object. You can automatically view the isometric view, the top view, the front view, the right side view, left, and then the back view.